Welcome to NE 567, the Gospel According to Matthew, for online class. Uh, my name's Tommy Givens. I'm going to be your professor for the course. And so I'm delighted to welcome you to the class with this introductory video. You obviously will be able to get uh, the specifics of the course plan from the syllabus and whatnot. I want to use this video to highlight three emphases of this course that I hope will sort of acquaint you with what this course is going to be like and what its principal aims are, and also uh, make a logistical note at the end. So first, the three emphases of the course. Number one, this course is designed to enable you to interpret a narrative of the New Testament. I think many of us with the way that we've been formed as Christians come to the narratives of the Bible, perhaps especially the narratives of the New Testament, with a variety of poor assumptions or kind of lack of intuitive knowledge about how to interpret, how to understand uh, this way of Jesus is being presented to us. So this class is especially aimed at enabling you to interpret the gospel according to Matthew as a narrative. This will involve both attention to the large kind of narrative arc beginning, middle, and end of the whole story, as well as the intricacies of the scenes as they come in succession, the way that they're related to one another, and how the intricacies of the narrative and its larger structure work together to present Jesus to us, and what it takes for us to be able to perceive that presentation and then to convey it uh, to others. So that's the first emphasis, enabling you to interpret the Gospel of Matthew as a narrative. Secondly, the course is designed to recover for you the biblical Israelite context of the story about Jesus. The Gospel according to Matthew is deeply rooted in the Old Testament scriptures as we call them. Uh, I might describe it as the story of the people of Israel. And the way that we have tended to read the New Testament as a whole, but the Gospel of Matthew in particular, uh, as somehow separate from that scriptural tradition, as not rooted in it, has led to a lot of poor interpretation. Uh, one uh, symptom of that, for example, is the way that Jesus has tended to be depoliticized in the way that he's been interpreted in the New Testament, Matthew in particular, the way that uh, he is rendered a sort of spiritual figure whose political significance is secondary if it even exists at all. Whereas in the context of the Old Testament scriptures, the story of Israel as it comes to us through the Bible, the political nature of who Jesus is, who he claims to be, is uh, not only difficult to deny, but it is a principal sort of concern of the story. Uh, what does it mean for Jesus to be the Messiah, the final king of Israel. So that's the second emphasis of the course, uh, recovering the biblical Israelite context of the gospel according to Matthew about Jesus. You're going to see that uh, this is going to feature prominently in the first week's work, which has you reading a lot of texts from those scriptures uh, Genesis, Deuteronomy, Isaiah, Jeremiah, the book of Daniel, uh, with a view to uh, giving you some of the texture 
in which the story about Jesus according to Matthew unfolds. So uh, look forward to that for the first week of work for this course. The third emphasis that I want to highlight here as we get started uh, is the theological, ethical nature of biblical interpretation. Many of you may come to the class with the assumption that interpretation of the Bible in the first instance is not itself theological or ethical. Maybe you imagine that it is in the first place historical or something of that nature and then becomes theological or ethical only by virtue of something that we do with it. I want to question that assumption and uh, present the Gospel of Matthew to you, uh, wrestle through it with you, as already a theological, ethical text, as already uh, revealing to us who God is, revealing uh, to us who God is in such a way that it presses upon us ethically, calls to us, invites us to live in particular ways, to speak in particular ways. And this theological, ethical nature of the story, the language of Matthew, is not something that we add to it. It's something that is already part of it. And our task as the readers of the story is to open ourselves to it and to be formed by it so that we read the gospel according to Matthew as giving us the knowledge of God, as calling to us to live in a certain way in response to that knowledge and as a further disclosure of who God is in the world in the course of our own lives as disciples of Jesus who live in community with one another and in commitment to the neighbors among whom God has gathered us in this world. So those are the three emphases uh, of the course that I think give you a sense of kind of my approach to teaching the gospel according to Matthew. The one logistical matter that I want to highlight is uh, for those of you who may not be as familiar with online teaching at Fuller, uh, even if you are, I think this bears repeating. The online approach to learning, I think, is a challenge for many of us because it is relatively new. We're, of course, especially conscious of some of the loss that we incur by not having a classroom setting together in the conventional sense. Um, I feel some of that myself. I think there are, of course, some gains as well. And we will try to compensate for some of the losses in this class by offering a weekly office hours time, uh, at least hopefully almost every week of the class, where you can video conference with me and other students if you want to. Uh, but the online nature of our learning is going to um, impose on us certain requirements that I think I need to make clear up front. The engagement uh, with one another that we have during the week in the forum responses to readings that we've done, to questions that I have put to you about the text of Matthew in response to podcasts that I will have uploaded for you to listen to, that engagement with one another is a crucial part of the class um, in a way that requires uh, participation and that I ensure that participation uh, in a way that I might not be as concerned to uh, enforce if we had reliable person-to-person -person meetings uh, going on throughout the, the class. So what this means is that um, I need you to uh, be committed up front to participating in our uh, forums each week in a timely way. I'll, of course, give you some flexibility about when you do that, but uh, there will be deadlines each week, um, Saturday to be specific, by which your initial responses will have to be posted in the one or two forums that there will be each week. And um, we just can't afford to get behind on that kind of thing because there really isn't a way for you to make it up. 
uh, those aren't sort of recorded discussions or anything. Um, so just so you know going in, uh, it's going to be important to schedule for yourself some structured time uh, when you will invest in this course uh, week in and week out uh, so that each week you're keeping up and able to engage with uh, other students and with me because uh, that engagement each week is an integral part of the learning of this class. Um, so I look forward to that. I think that uh, you'll find that our discussions uh, will hopefully be uh, lively and uh, pointed at times, but with a view always to uh, clarifying what the message of this first gospel of the New Testament is, and hopefully in the course of that engagement with one another, empowering you to live a more faithful life as a disciple of Jesus, to be able to articulate the gospel about Jesus, the kingdom of God that he inaugurated with more clarity, and so to be a witness yourself uh, to the kingdom of God that has uh, come to us in the person, the life of Jesus, uh, crucified by the Roman powers uh, along with some of their uh, Jewish clients in the land in his time as a political rebel who refused to submit to the reigning powers of his day and yet thereby revealed the rule of God uh, and was raised from the dead uh, so as to make that rule of God present to us, empowering us to be his witnesses as his church in uh, this world that God loves. So delighted to have you in the class, to welcome you, and uh, look for the first week's work below this video. I also have the syllabus there. And I welcome your questions uh, in the forum, the announcement forum uh, at the top of our Moodle page. Look forward to seeing you in the first week's forums.